I think a lot of people could say about what I'm going to say uh, being a common thing for their own livelihood from what they've seen with others. Uh, that being with religion, a lot of people, they come from some type of religious background. Um, but there is a decent amount of people within that sector that came out of it that now today um, if they were to be asked what religion they may follow they may still affiliate themselves with those um, backgrounds that they were brought up with uh, but a lot of times what I see is people now say that they're more so spiritual than religious that oh they have a spiritual connection to something, whatever that may be, more so than a religious doctrine that they follow. I think that's interesting. I understand what people generally look to say for what they mean as spiritual. Um, but I don't necessarily agree with what they intent on that meaning. Um, I believe true spirituality, honestly, true spirituality is just preserving the unborn. Um, honestly, it has to apply to today's world. It has to apply to your existence, everything when it comes to, you know, spirituality that is the core to your essence. So it has to have some representation uh, to the current world that you find yourself in. And, you know, for anybody that's here, for any sentient, um, there's a sort of spirit that comes with that for any sentient. Um, they're going through horror. You know, this is a horror show. So why should I uh, look to promote a horror show? That's, um, you know, it's a, it's a struggle, it's it's a lot of toil. Um, it, it's not a good thing, you know, what's going on here. Uh, so when I hear people, when they say they're spiritual, I get what they're looking to say. But um, honestly, honestly, um, I don't I don't know. I just don't think they've asked enough questions or. And I again, you have to ask them what they really mean by that, because that can mean anything. You got to really un understand the intention behind what they're saying. Uh, but a lot of times when I do ask that, it's just it's honestly religion 2.0, because procreation, honestly, is a part of a religion. It's a culture uh, with culture. You're, you're kind of following different norms that you're just kind of blindly in a way accepting and a lot of times a lot of times there's reasons people do what they do but it's not even like they're really thinking about it they just kind of do it because other people are doing it so it's a lot of um mind hive mentality when it comes to these things and it just goes back to my point. Again, if you're truly spiritual, um, this would be something that you would rebuke, uh, that you would protest against, kind of just stay away against the world, um, not to be of the world, not to continue the world uh, within the context of procreation. Just having a different mindset than those that look to do that. Because clearly when you look at what's going on here, uh, it's, it's nothing to be proud of. Nothing to be proud of. Um, it's very unfortunate uh, what we see people have to go through. And so, again, with spirituality, it's just preserving the unborn from that torture, from that irrelevant burden. You know, it just it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, people can be here now. That's great. Make the best of it. We all do that. But. It's really the cruelest thing to have somebody come here for your own will. I mean, I don't care who you are, just that framework where that's your decision. That's your decision, a decision that you don't know is, you know, how it's going to turn out. You don't know the consequences. There are 
inevitable consequences from that, but you don't know the whole picture of what that will entail. Um, so just the fact that you're not the one that's going to have to carry that risk, it, it, I don't care if you do it or not. That framework uh, to how we come to be here is a cruel thing. It is a cruel thing. So it's just preserving that, uh, preserving that trouble, that worry um, that you would had put on somebody else to had to deal with. Um, so I, I believe that's true spirituality. Um, understanding that, um, grasping why you would not look to do that. And that, in a way, uh, kind of, it's not all of yourself. You know, it's not like this is who I entirely am as a human being, but it's definitely a significant portion uh, for sure. Um, there's just things that I just don't put myself out to do, given that that's uh, the... Uh, backbone per se, or that's something that I hold a uh, strong position towards. So um, I, I look to be, it's not even leave, looking to be, I just am different than a lot of other people. And I, I know a lot of people hearing this can say the same thing because um, that mentality is just different. You know, you, you don't typically hear that from people when, you know, if they do say, oh, I'm not religious now, I'm more spiritual. Uh, it's just more so some type of kind of glossy, abstract form of relative morality. I don't know. Um, it's not really... It, it doesn't really make a point. It doesn't bring itself back to this world. It's just a bunch of random ideas that don't really have any sense to anything around them. So it's pointless. Uh, what most people look to say when they say they're they're spiritual, it doesn't it doesn't make sense um, what what they do with that. Um, so yeah, um, that's something we we could all have control in um, with abstaining from promoting this uh, through our own bloodline. That's something that we can do. It's unfortunate, you know, we're not really looking to do much more of a uniformity as a whole. Um, but uh, that that's something where that's more so more or less out of our own control. So uh, when it comes to procreation, that's something that we all have within our own independence, our own volition. Um, and that's just one very simple thing that you can look to do that would make you, quote unquote, spiritual, because there is some spiritual undertones with those reasonings uh, people can say. Uh, why they would choose not to do it because really it is because there's again and always a spirit uh, to any sentience there's a sort of you know energy uh, we kind of hold in an individual aspect um, and it's, it's just abstaining so that they don't have to bear the burden of being here and that's just yeah that's what I see it because that's the only thing that I can prove and that I can control. Uh, so anything else is cool, but it's, I don't see that as true spirituality uh, because I wouldn't want to put myself here. So why would I do that to somebody else like that? That's, you know, a lot of times with all these religions and stuff, it's just to make yourself a better person. Um, I don't see how you can be a better person if you impose this on somebody. So.